Hi folks, this is Jake. Hope you're okay today. Uh, we're looking at this book, uh, The Gospel Truth, Answering New Atheist Attacks on the Gospel by Paul Barnett, published by IVP. Now, in this series, I will be sharing my own research that I've done, and so there'll be some videos where I move off from this book into my own studies that I've done, and I'll let you know when that's the case. But uh, we'll read uh, page 26. The New Atheist Attack on the Gospel. A confidence in gospel truth has the power to convert. It is no surprise that crusading atheists believe that the de denial of that truth has the power to deconvert. It, it is understandable that the new atheists such as Richard Dawkins attack the historical reliability of the gospels. For the moment, let me briefly mention some of their attack. Jesus did not actually exist. There are contradictions between the Gospels and world history. There are contradictions between the Gospels. Miracles are impossible. The Gospel transmission is unreliable. Date in the New Testament. Jesus was born in 6 BC, was crucified in AD 33. By AD 40, the wider population of Antioch in Syria had invented a name for a new sect calling its members Christians, literally followers of Christ. In AD 110, Ignatius, the church leader of Antioch, referred to this movement as Christianity, the first known use of the word. What then did Christianity teach? Ignatius has this to say about Christ in what seems to have been a simple church creed. Jesus Christ was of the stock of David who was from Mary, who was truly born, ate and drank, was truly persecuted under Pontius Pilate, was truly crucified and died, who also was truly raised from the dead, his father raising him. Ignatius clearly based these words on the Gospels without directly quoting them. In fact, Ignatius knows three of the four Gospels, and we find echoes of their words scattered throughout his seven letters. This leads us to conclude that these Gospels were in circulation before Ignatius wrote his letter in AD 110. So when were the four Gospels written? Logically, we conclude that they were written between AD 35, when Jesus was killed, and 110, when Ignatius wrote his letter. Although we do not know the precise dates, most scholars think that Mark was written by AD 70, and the other during the next decade or so. This means our earliest Gospel was written about 35 years after Jesus, and the others no more than about 50 years after him. Some date the Gospels as a few years earlier, and some a few years later. But either way, this does not alter the fact that each was written within the lifetime of the lifespan of Jesus. By the standards of those times, these were relatively brief. Lee times separately a biographer from its subject. By the standards of the, these times, these were relatively brief. Lead times separately a biography from its subject. Approximately 90 years elapsed before Suetonius. In AD 130 wrote his life of Tiberius, the Caesar under whom Jesus was crucified. The closeness of time between the Gospels and Jesus is all the more remarkable since he was, relatively speaking, a nobody, merely despised Jew from a remote Galilee of the edge of the empire, who had been crucified for treason and who was said to have been resurrected. It would be difficult to think of a less likely candidate for world rule. So we'll continue to go on and think about this. 